people, hey, 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 um, Ola, you should list us, Empire Token, we would like to be listed. I like what you're talking about. Very interested. And Binance, where's the Binance guys? Um, I'm very happy to be here. Um, we share the same uh, interest in crypto, but uh, also Dubai is home for many of us. We're based in Abu Dhabi, and it's so good to be in Dubai, talking to too many familiar faces. Um, unfortunately, the presentation, first couple of slides, going to be a bit boring. But then after that, we'll try to, to make it less boring. Uh, we would like uh, to talk a little bit about DeFi. So we come from different worlds. Our colleagues in this uh, room today, they've been talking about uh, centralized world. And many of you are familiar with that. I, myself, and my team, and uh, most of my friends are uh, interested more in the decentralized world. We believe in the future of the decentralized. We believe in the power of people. We believe in the power of being completely decentralized. So we're, we're here to empower this space, and we, uh, we have a solution for that. So first of all, I'm sure 99% of the people here know the word DeFi, or DeFi, some people call it. Um, for us, DeFi, um, it comes from different perspective. For us, it's just an opportunity to raise funds and uh, to, to, to see so many projects in this space today, they're utilizing DeFi to get on their feet and start something amazing. So there's many, many amazing uh, DeFi projects here. But DeFi, the word itself, comes from two different main pillars. The first one is the use of smart contracts, and the second one is the use of liquidity pool. And this is, this is fundamental. Anyone would like to come to the space of DeFi, it's a must to understand the meaning and the place that liquidity pool plays in the ecosystem. Um, just to put things into perspective, the difference between centralized versus decentralized. Um, centralized, you need to be KYC, they need to know who you are, the, the, the exchanges, they have uh, access to your wallets, um, and there's market makers. So there's a supply, in order to buy or sell something, there has to be an agreement between a buyer and a seller. Where in de decentralized world, in DeFi, it's all about liquidity pools. So you control your own wallets, you put your wallet aside, no one knows who you are. When you're ready to do any transaction, you connect your wallet. But the beauty of it is the liquidity pool. And liquidity pool is an amazing thing um, because simply you don't need a buyer and seller to be presented at the same time. So DeFi has been around for about five years. Um, uh, look, the numbers are clear. There is about, what, $92 billion in DeFi. There is on Ethereum alone for more than 4 million users. But what's, what is this showing us is that it's still early stages. We are in, in, a, in a very early stages in DeFi. Today, we have the opportunity to grow together the space and be part of something amazing. I genuinely, truly believe that DeFi is the future of finance. DeFi is here to stay. DeFi is here to empower many new technologies such as the metaverse, NFTs, and whatnot. Um, so 4 million users, 10 million users, still nothing. $92 billion is nothing, you know? So there's, there's, there's uh, big doors to be opened, and we would like, as Empire Token, to be part of the journey. We would like to empower the space. We would like to, to be partnering with, with, with many people in, in the space. Um, but reality is, and I was one, one of the people myself who, when I came to, to DeFi, as interesting as it is, and it, it does take us back to like 10, 20 years ago when you try to understand um, the internet and things like this. You, you have to, to start reading about DeFi and you have to educate yourself. And you know, YouTube that tells you how to, how to start a wallet, how to secure your wallet, then how do you find the projects. It's, it's not convenient. It's, 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 it's still very early stages. It's, it's, there's a lot of scams. You have to really educate yourself on many aspects. Um, and we do agree with the centralized world on this in terms of um, there is a lot of educational content needs to be done. There is a lot of, of, of regulations need to be introduced. Um, the space is moving very fast um, with the regulations in the space, and there is a lot of talk about regulations. There is always a new thing, but there is a lot of problems. And as a DeFi user myself, as an investor myself, I am prone to scams. I've been scammed many times myself. So imagine the newcomers. Imagine them onboarding, opening a wallet, finding a project, finding the chart in one area going to check other um, metrics and other uh, websites. It's, it's, it's not the most, con uh, it's not the most uh, interesting space at the, at the moment. So as Empire, we do have a solution. 
Again, our solution is all about empowering the space. We are not trying to compete with anyone. We are trying to empower the space, the uh, DeFi space. So we started with building an, an uh, NFT marketplace. Our NFT marketplace is on Binance. Then we bridged to Solana and Ethereum. And we're bridging to, to multiple uh, chains soon. But we made it unique. We made it in a way that we partner with other projects. We give them the door to come mint their tokens, their NFTs use their, their tokens. So if you are a small project who doesn't have the time or the money or the efforts to go create your NFT marketplace, we give you that. We give you your 100% mintable token, uh, NFTs using your token in our platform. And then we give you a launch pad and whatnot. Then we created our Goosebumps Dix. Um, it's very unique because it, it's integrating uh, multiple uh, parts of the DeFi space, uh, including charts, uh, your portfolio tracking, and your regular staking index. Um, but that, to be true and to be completely honest, we, we were all over the place. We were trying to do something unique and, and new. We have a sea of, of use cases. We call ourselves Empire because we're trying to build an empire of use cases. That was our purpose, this is our calling, this is our name, that's what we're all about. Um, as a team, we're always talking and we, we network a lot, and we always talk about um, thinking outside the box. Let's innovate, let's think outside the box, let's do something new. But we realized that the box itself hasn't been filled in DeFi. We, we went back to the box, and we inside the box, and what we're creating is our new use case. It's coming live in two months, it's called DeFiGram, so like Telegram, like Instagram, DeFiGram. So DeFiGram is all in one application that you only need to use when you come to DeFi. You don't need to go open different, you know, like your wallet, chart, launch pads, all of these, you know. So we're putting everything is under one umbrella, literally, going back to 101 of DeFi. So our our market, our target market, and what we're trying to serve is everyone in this space. So we are not trying to take business from anyone. We're not trying to compete with anyone. We would like, we are here to empower everyone, including projects, including developers, including influencers and the marketeers. And first of all, and of course, the DeFi users themselves, whether you're new to the space or someone who's trying to get to the space of, of DeFi, we give you the DeFi gram. So the DeFi gram, uh, we'll focus mainly in the community management part um, because, uh, look, today, I myself, as I keep saying, I'm a very fan of DeFi, and I really like it. I like that it's all over the place, but many, many others don't share this, the same view. So the solution we give them that while other apps are doing it, they're masking other, um, other applications such as uh, Telegram. We're giving our own chat rooms, your own very unique chat app that integrates with the other parts we're gonna cover now. But what's unique about it, and those of you who are project owners in DeFi will understand this. In Telegram today, for example, many people who will come and will ask questions like, what's the market cap? What's your website? What's the total supply? And they keep asking the same questions. So our solution for this is that we will verify the projects via smart contracts, and we will put all the info under the chat room. So within the chat room, the user gets all the info, but at the same time, they are connected to the wallet. So if you like a project, you can see it on our launch pad, on our portfolios, and on, on, on the different parts of the app. It links you directly to the, so it's all about user experience, yeah? So it connects you directly to the chat room, whereby you can swap the token. You can use the DEX integrated within the chat room to get your own tokens and then they automatically go to your wallet. So today, as it exists today, it's a mission to find a good project, it's, and then you have to go configure the, the, the wallet, and then you have to add it manually to your wallet, then you have to keep watching it on, on, on the charts, or you add it to your portfolio tracker, and then you have to keep checking the updates from the community and all of that. We're fixing all of that under one umbrella, while the key word here, and I, I want this to be heard from everyone very clear, we're keeping it decentralized. We're all about decentralized, and we, we will not change this at all. So it's all about decentralization, however, all in one place. So your NFT marketplace is there. You can bring your all NFTs from other marketplaces. You can share your NFTs and, and your, your tokens, if you wish to, as portfolio, as publicly, or you can choose not to. You can make it uh, 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 an anonymous account. 
Um, so here is uh, some screenshots of how we think the, the application is going to be. Of course, there are going to be a little bit of changes here and there. Um, I would like to keep some time, actually, to, to get some, some questions. So maybe I'll, yeah, so our wallet. Um, the main feature of the wallet and what we would like to, to focus on is not just the wallet itself, but it's the, uh, the functionality of the wallet, like the cross-chain functionality. If you are on the launch pad and you find, say, a Solana project, you will go directly to the chat room of that project on Solana, and the chain will be clear as Solana. But say you have BNBs and you would like to buy that token, it automatically will convert your BNBs to buy it, so it will bridge it for you, and it will open the wallet and automatically adds it to your portfolio tracker. So you don't need to do any of the hard work and the uplifting of, 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 of the work we has been done today. So we have cross-chain cross, cross chain and swaps. We have, uh, you can switch between networks. We're, um, we're trying to keep adding one chain at the time. Our main chain is Binance, then Ethereum, then we like Solana, we like uh, Phantom, we like Polygon. So we're gonna be integrating all of them for the app. And then as a token, we're bridging to Ethereum first. Then we'll see where we will bridge, we, where we will bridge after. We're eyeing uh, Phantom, we're eyeing Solana, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, one of the main pillars for this, and this goes with the vision of my colleagues, they were talking about it, is to, to make it easy to onboard and come by the tokens. Today, it's not very clear and comes with many security risks. So what we're trying to do and what we will do with DeFiGram is that we're gonna give you direct access to, you, to buy using your credit card, the stables, so you can buy BUSD or USDT, and whatnot, and then you can use it when, within the same DEX. So I'll, I'll, I'll go, yeah, so this is some screenshots. I would like to keep some time in case there are some interesting questions. No pressure if you guys don't ask questions. I have my friends. So this is our roadmap. Uh, what I want to, 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 to highlight here is that the DeFiGram itself is going to be live in two months as a beta version, and then we're going to be building it for the next six to eight months. Uh, we would like to talk to you if you are an investor, if you are someone who just likes to understand the space, if you are a project who would like to partner with us, whoever you are, whatever you do, we're all here for networking. We like talking. Our booth is right outside. Please do approach us, uh, and let's talk business. And yeah, this is how you contact us. You can uh, scan the code or yeah, come outside. So we have a couple of minutes for any questions, if anyone... My friends, be prepared to ask if you... I can't see, by the way. Okay. Uh, Abdul here is asking a question. I answer your question. So we... <laughs> So just to cover some of the bases while we have some time, we are on Binance, as I said today. Our market cap today is 10 million. We went up to $107 million market cap like three months ago, and it went down. And one of the main reasons we went down is many of our hardworking investors got scammed. And this is the reason we are here today. We are here today to protect others from being scammed. We would like to give them all the tools they need to get started, to start swapping, to manage their portfolio, but also to do their research and to be on top of the DeFi space. So yeah, I think that's all for me today. Thank you very much.